Hey, it's Megan. Welcome back to the channel, my friend. Today, we are repurposing Dollar Tree planters into Christmas decor. There are so many different ways you can reuse planters beyond spring and summer planting, but in this video, we're focusing on Christmas ideas. And with all that said, we're getting started right now. A really simple way to decorate your table setting or even decorate your fireplace is to grab any one of Dollar Tree's medium-sized planters and one of their candlesticks. Use hot glue for an immediate hold and then some type of strong hold glue like gel super glue or E6000 to connect the two together. Grab your favorite Christmas ribbon, tie that around the top. There you go. You got like a five minute DIY, beautiful table centerpiece, but you could also use two of these. So that's what I did. I made two to flank my fireplace. You could put them out on your front porch. The possibilities are endless. One of the best deals at Dollar Tree are their larger planters. This is a great deal for $1.25. I always pick up like three or four every time I'm in the store. And there are so many DIYs you can make with them. So pick up any one of their larger size planters. It really doesn't matter the color and then poke out the drainage holes they have on the bottom. If your planter cracks, mine did. No big deal. Just add a little bit of hot glue on the inside. It'll be fine for this DIY. Then you want to paint your bell or spray paint your bell. I prefer spray painting and I also really love Rust-Oleum spray paint because it holds really nice to plastic. So use gold, silver, or white to paint your planter because we're making a bell. You can use a shatterproof ornament for the clapper part of the bell. If you have one that matches silver or gold, use that. Or you can just, ornaments are easily spray painted too. Then use some ribbon or twine, whatever you want to use. You can even use rope to tie it through the top where you poke the drainage holes, tie the ornament off at the bottom, and then tie a loop at the top. Bada bing, bada boom, we are pretty much done. Now you can make a fancy bow if you have ribbon and you're a great bow maker, or you can just purchase one of the pre-made inexpensive bows at Dollar Tree or Walmart. And that is it. I think this looks really pretty. It doesn't really look like a planter, and this is a nice, huge DIY. Now for this next one, oh my gosh, I'm in love with how this turned out. All you have to do is grab one of the Santa hats from Dollar Tree or Walmart. It doesn't matter the style. Just pick whichever one's speaking to you. Grab a matching scarf. And when I say matching, I don't mean, it doesn't have to be matching pattern like mine. It just needs to match, <laughs> like go well together with the colors. Grab a red larger size planter, also from Dollar Tree, and some yarn. Just wrap up your yarn into a bunch of rolls at different lengths. It doesn't have to be perfect. And then string one piece of yarn through the drainage holes at the top and tie all your bundles of yarn together. Does that make sense? I'm not sure my words are making sense, but I know you can see what I'm doing. And then all you have to do is just glue your scarf all the way around your planter on the underside and the top side. Then grab your hat, stuff that with trash bags or any anything you have on hand, you can stuff it with fabric if you'd like and hot glue that to the top. Now we're making a gnome if you haven't guessed. And for the gnome's nose, you can use one of Dollar Tree's smaller ornaments, paint that a skin color, and then hot glue that bad boy down. And that is it. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a huge gnome fan, but I also wanna brag on myself for a second because I'm really impressed with how this turned out. And even if you're not a gnome fan, you gotta admit, this looks pretty nice. It doesn't look all hot glued DIY. And this is two feet tall. It's a really nice large size DIY. One of the easiest ways to decorate for Christmas or any time of the year really is just to spray paint the planters black. This is a nice sleek classy look. You can use this year round. For Christmas you can add a bow and put a mini Christmas tree in there on your front porch or since you can poke drainage holes out on the bottom of these planters, you could put a real plant in here. You could also use this for fall by putting a fall bow and a few pumpkins in the planter. Possibilities are endless. Now check it out. Do you have a few almost burnt down candles? Well, round all those bad boys up, put them on your stove low to medium heat for about 25 to 35 minutes. Then grab one of Dollar Tree's metal garden planters. You can paint it white or leave it as is. Grab your favorite Christmas ribbon, hot glue that around the middle of the planter. You can add a bow and to snazz up my bow to make it just a little bit more Christmassy, I just use some scrap Christmas picks, but you can jazz the bow up however you want to. Now you need to pick up some wicks. These are available at Walmart or any craft store. Usually you can use a coupon at craft stores and they'll be less than $2. Then just pour your wax into your candle after it's cooled down just a little bit, but not totally hardened all the way again. 
And here you go. You can give this as a gift or set this out on your patio since it's metal. It'll hold up just fine. You got yourself a beautiful Christmas candle. Or if you just want to make the white candle right now, the planter candle, and add the bow later for Christmas, that works too. You can also make candles using Dollar Tree's terracotta planters or Walmart, any terracotta planters really, but Dollar Tree does sell them in a smaller size. You can paint them white and everything is the same as the last candle we made. The only difference is you'll need to put a little piece of duct tape over the hole on the bottom before you hot glue the wick to the middle. And instead of using white wax, we're going to use red wax this time to really take up that Christmas festivity look. And to complement our red wax, we can use some red ribbon, and this looks super cute. You can use some of Dollar Tree's bells as well. They come in a pack from six all the way up to 50, depending on the size. They're really a great deal. And this is what these candles look like. Now, I think these would make some great gifts for a teacher, your friend, your mom, whoever likes candles and whoever loves Christmas and you're given a gift, this is the gift to give my friend. Super cute and super inexpensive. All right, now this next idea, I love it, but stay with me, y'all. It's going to sound weird at the beginning. Just grab one of Dollar Tree's foam toy balls. This is not the inflatable toy ball. This is foam. You can stab it with a barbecue skewer and then paint it green or black. And I promise you, green and black paint works just the same on this. You just need to cover up the brightly orange basketball or the blue and white soccer ball. After your paint dries, you're going to add a, a load of hot glue and a pool noodle to the bottom of your foam ball. The pool noodle only needs to be slightly taller than the top of your planter. Hot glue that to the bottom of your planter. Now check it out, y'all. Walmart has all kinds of florals for just $1. And for Christmas, they'll carry all kinds of Christmas florals. Right now, they have this these greenery picks, 97 cents. You only need five to seven greenery picks depending on the style you pick up it looks like you need a lot more than you actually do but if you can see you're not stabbing the picks right next to each other you're spacing them out about an inch to two inches apart and that is it this would look great year round too for christmas you can add some fairy lights or you can just go ahead and poke in some christmas picks along with your already everyday greenery picks and for this next idea, you just need to grab a few beads. It doesn't matter the color because they can easily be spray painted. You want to spray paint them or hand paint them. I prefer spray painting gold, silver, or white. We're going to make some really nice, classy looking bells. Then grab three different sizes of terracotta pots. Dollar Tree actually does sell four sizes. I'm using the three smallest sizes. And paint those the same color that you painted your beads. Grab some of their faux leather ribbon, string that through the top of the terracotta pot, and then you're going to take the bead and put it on the bottom of your ribbon. Use a little bit of hot glue on the bottom of the bead just to secure it in place to keep it from falling off, really. And that is it. You can use these bells individually, or you can tie them together and put them in a wreath. You can put them in garland. You can use them instead of a wreath on your front door. Possibilities are endless, and these really, really look nice. I've seen some just like this at Target, and they were like $25 or something crazy. No need. You can totally make your own. And we are on to the next one, where all you need is one of Dollar Tree's garden dishes, some gel super glue, and any metal planter. You could use E6000 just the same, although I can't do the smell of E6000, and I really love the strong hold and the fast dry time of gel super glue. But your DIY, your choice, and then you can just paint the entire thing black. This is also a really nice centerpiece. Once again, this can truly be used year round. For Christmas, you can just add a little wreath, add a candle, and this really sets the mood. This is classy Christmas to me. I love, love, love the way this looks. This is probably my most favorite DIY, even though it's not my most proud DIY. I'm mostly proud of the gnome, but this is my most favorite. I think it just looks too, too classy. Now for the easiest and simplest idea, pick up a Dollar Tree medium-sized planter, already red, grab some ribbon, make a bow, hot glue that with a bell to your planter. And this is a two second way that you can decorate for any Christmas party or decorate your own home or just add a little bit of extra Christmas in your classroom, home or office. 
And if you're just totally digging all this Christmas content, guess what? It's your lucky day, my friend, because this video is a part of a huge collaboration put on by Shannon from The Daily DIYer and her second channel, The Cozy Christmas Cottage. Not only are there a bunch of amazing creators in this collaboration, these are amazing people in real life too. These are all my real life friends. I've met the majority of them in person. I love them all truly and dearly. So please go watch their video if you haven't already. And hey, that is it my friend. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you next time.